How to find trending topics for your content marketing using Google Trends. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com helping serious entrepreneurs like you to boost sales to your products and services online using simple but super effective online marketing tips and tricks. If you are a serious entrepreneur, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that bell notification button as well so you never miss a tip that could help you to boost your online earnings. In this video, I'm speaking about content marketing and how you can utilize Google Trends to help you find topics that are popular that you can actually speak about whether it's on your website or on your social media accounts. Now, if you've been following my YouTube channel for some length of time, you probably would have heard me speak about content marketing. I'll also leave some links in the description down below to my content marketing videos. But if you're trying to rank your website, in the major search engines such as Google, Yahoo and Bing, one of the great ways to do this effectively is to be producing content on your website on a consistent basis. And I know because some of you have reached out to me and let me know that you're actually producing content on your website. So this video should help a lot of you guys out. If you're wondering, how do you find topic ideas that's actually trending, that will actually do well on Google and that will actually do well as well if you put that content on social media, whether it's in the form of videos or on Instagram or on Facebook or on Twitter. So as you can see, I'm on Google Trends at the moment. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to this website as well so you can get access to it too. It's a completely free tool and this tool will basically show you the trends that are currently happening on the, on the internet and in your industry. So as you can see, it's prompted me to enter a search topic. So let's say for example, you sell, uh, men's fashion clothes so i can type in men's fashion and then search for this term and the kind of default parameters are the united states but i can also kind of check for worldwide or i can check for a specific location as well i can also check the trend for uh, for either 12 months or I can kind of do it the past hour, the past four, uh, past four hours, the past day. So I can customize the date range here as I feel necessary. You can also choose your category as well. So if it was all categories, you can keep it as all categories. If, if you was in the arts and entertainment, um, if you was in the beauty and fitness, then you can select that. So you can kind of select your particular category that you're trying to kind of, you know, research for. And you can also determine whether it's a web search, image search, news search, Google shopping, or even YouTube search as well. So this could be really cool for some of you who are doing video marketing on YouTube. If you want to find popular topic ideas, uh, then you can actually, you know, do YouTube search. So I'm going to keep it as a web search for now. Um, one of the other things I wanted to point your attention to is this compare uh, aspect here as well. So you can compare one topic against another. So maybe you want to see a trend uh, of women's fashion and how that compares to men's fashion. So as you can see, interest over time. So this graph will actually show you, if you hover over it, it will show you the, the, the date period. It will show you what date um, it, it currently is at. And this shows you the interest of, for example, the blue line is men's fashion over time. So you can kind of see that it's kind of consistently, this particular search term um, is, is trending a lot more than women's fashion, which potentially um, is actually quite surprising to me. I wouldn't have thought that. But then you can also see like a peak here and, and you can kind of identify what date this peak happened. And this peak happened from December the 29th all the way till January 4th. So, you know, after the Christmas period, maybe January sales, uh, then men's fashion really had a, a peak and a surge for some reason. So that's something that you might want to keep in mind. And if you kind of wanted to see if this was a trend that was only this year, or if this is a trend that's been happening for a while, again, you can actually set um, a custom period here. So I'm gonna go for past five years. And you can see that the, the trend kind of is similar. So it's, it's kind of been consistent over the past five years that men's fashion has kind of been uh, more of a, of a search term topic uh, more of a trending topic than women's fashion has been. 
So um, that's one thing that you might want to keep in mind, something that you can consider. It also shows you a breakdown by subregion as well. So you can kind of see what areas are kind of generating this interest. So that's really cool information as well. If you're um, kind of targeting a specific area, maybe you're going into Google ads and or Facebook ads and you're targeting a specific demographic or a specific area, then this can become really important for you as well. So you can kind of get some data as to what the percentage of people who are potentially interested in your product, product is in a specific area. So that can be really cool as well. Um, you can also see interest in sub-regions and you can also see related queries as well. So you can see uh, men's fashion 2017, 2016 men's fashion, men's fashion 2018. So you can kind of see like related terms and maybe some of the terms you might want to include in some of your website articles and some of your content marketing. So that's really cool as well. Another feature of Google Trends that I wanted to speak about was actually this trending searches page. So when you click on that, you can actually find what is currently trending, what topics are currently trending. So this is the daily search trends and you can actually see what is searching from day to day. So if you're kind of a, a company that produces content on a daily basis or you're looking for trending topics to speak about, whether it be on Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube or whatever, even on your blog, then you can find these topics by uh, com coming to these trending searches, these daily searches and kind of seeing what is currently trending at the moment. And, um, you know, you can always load more and see what was trending yesterday and kind of just stay up to date with what's going on in your industry and in other industries as well. Um, you can go to real time search trends as well to kind of see what's trending in real time. And you can actually kind of, kind of, you know, search by our category as well. So if you only wanted to see business or entertainment or health, um, then you can, kind of choose your category if you are in the sports niche for example then you can find what is trending here and maybe uh, speak about that and really you know put that out there on social media and get attention and kind of make use of those topics that are really trending so as I've mentioned content marketing is really great it's great if you're speaking about topics that are popular because that can help you to really draw a crowd to your social media accounts and to your website as well and blogging in general creating content in the form of blog articles is really useful for search engine optimization. So if you're not currently doing it, I highly recommend that you start making content a part of your online marketing strategy. But I really do hope that this video brought you value. I'll be leaving links to Google Trends in the description down below. And I'll also be leaving a link to my formula, which is the free guide to generating leads and sales online. A copy of it is behind me. So if you wanna know how to turn your content marketing strategy into something that actually generates leads and sales for your business, then make sure you download the formula. It's absolutely free and it's gonna teach you some of the fundamentals. A copy will be in the description down below and somewhere on this screen as well so make sure you click on that and grab your free copy but i hope this video brought you value and if it did then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend if you have any additional questions or comments then please leave them for me in the comment section but until next time watch some of my other great videos make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content have a great day download the formula and i will see you soon